<웃음> 와우! 안녕하세요 and a massive warm welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi hello my name is Kira so for today's video I'm basically gonna get tipsy I have the girls bathroom card game now if you've never heard of the girls bathroom where have you been it is the best podcast I listen to it every single week it's by two of my favorite youtubers favorite influencers Sophia and Chinzia they are awesome Honestly, I live my life saying, what would Sophia and Chinzia do in this situation? I love listening to their podcasts, love their videos. They're great. And if you've never heard of the podcast, basically people send in scenarios, they ask the girls for advice, boy drama, friendship drama, life drama, and the girls give them advice. And it's a really great podcast. I mean, I'm 23, nearly 24, and I love listening to it. So if you are in like your early 20s or your late 20s in your 20s, it's a really great podcast to listen to. It's really relatable, really funny. Anyway, they brought out the girls bathroom card game which is basically the card game designed to get you drunk and I thought why the hell not sit down film a YouTube video get my glass of rosé which I must admit this bottle's been open a few days in the fridge so not sure what that's gonna be like but I'm just gonna pull some of the cards at random and kind of answer it by myself <laughs> I am by myself the plan is to film this video with Chanel my bestie but we just haven't found the opportunity to film this together so stay tuned because hopefully in the next few weeks we'll film this together so I'm gonna get more people on the channel to actually play this with but for today it is just me me and my rosé if you do enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 5pm and some Saturdays at 10am. So join the family, comment down below. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Just a heads up, if you are under the age of 18, this is going to involve some adult content. So the pack of cards, look at that, there's 250. Wow, can you imagine if I went through every single card by myself? That would be intense, but I'm just gonna pick at random. So I think there's four different types of cards. Oh, look at me. It's a bit like a review video. Oh my goodness, first impressions, all that jazz. So there's 150 general cards, 51 most likely. I can't really do most likely by myself. That'd be a bit odd, so we're gonna not do those. And then 28 drink or dare. 21 say it or shot it. As I'm actually filming this, England are about to play Denmark in the Euros. It's gonna kick off in about 10 minutes. So if you start to hear screaming, don't be alarmed, it's the footy anyway. I am gonna go from this side, okay. <clears throat> I'm excited. <laughs> wow! We are going straight in there. So say it or shot it the last time. You masturbated. I'm shy, I'm gonna take a little sip to that one, but that, that's a that's a great start to this card game. I, I'm excited about where this is gonna go. Okay, say it or shot it, how much is in your current account? Okay, I'm quite happy to uh, answer this one. Let's have a look at the old Monzo Aru. She's balling in it. I have got 188 pounds and 65 pence in my little current account. I appreciate that. It's not like, how much money do you have in life in general? It's just the current account. So, yeah. If your name ends in a A, drink. If you've ever skinny dipped, drink. I have never skinny dipped and I don't know if that's weird or not. I feel like a lot of people have, but that's never something I've done. I definitely would skinny dip, like I've got no issue with doing a bit of that. But I've never done that, so therefore, she will drink the rosé. If you've got with someone whose name starts with an S, drink. If you've ever broken up with someone over text, drink. No, I've never personally broken up with anyone over text, although someone's definitely broken up with me over text before. And that is really lousy, like, I'm not a fan of that. 
if you've ever had a holiday romance drink you know what? I don't actually think I've ever had a holiday romance. I remember when I was like 17 and I, I went on my first girl's holiday to Mallorca. There was this guy who was staying in our hotel and he looked like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. He was stunning and for the whole week I was like, oh, he's so attractive. But nothing happened. I didn't do anything. I was 17. I was shy. I didn't approach the guy. And the weird thing was, fla flash forward like three months after this holiday, I'm back home in Yorkshire. I went to like the races, Doncaster races. And this guy who I saw at our hotel in Mallorca, so that really weird hotel in Mallorca was at the races. He walked past me with his mate at Doncaster races. And I was like, that's really odd because I saw you in Mallorca like three months ago. What a small world. Anyway, to answer that question, that was a bit of a long ramble. I've never had a holiday romance. I don't think. If you've ever had a relationship that's lasted less than a month, drink. Yes, I have. I actually have. I was in my first year at college, like my first year at uni, and um, he was, I would say he was like my first boyfriend, I was never really into boys when I was at school, I was like a complete nerd, like, I'm proud, like, I worked hard, I had amazing friends who I'm still friends with now, but like, I was attracting no boys whatsoever, even if I would have wanted to, and anyway, um, flash forwards to when I moved away, I was 18, I went to uni and I think I was with this guy for about maybe like officially like three weeks and I remember the first time I met him he told me he loved me and um, asked me to be his girlfriend. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I think he was like, do you love me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't. Of course I didn't. But like, 18 year old Kira was like, woo! And yeah, quickly I realised we were just friends and that ended. But yeah, it still kind of counts even though it's not really a serious relationship. But um, yeah, I have been in one for less than a month. If you've ever had a relationship that's lasted more than a year, drink. Now I actually can't drink to that because I have had many like situationships and that kind of thing or I've been with guys for like months at a time but I've never hit the year mark. I wonder when that will happen but yeah, I can't drink to that one. Gosh, these are really interesting. I'm so enjoying this. If you've ever been proposed to drink, no. Maybe, actually, maybe Chanel's proposed to me before. <laughs> Say it or shot it, the last time you change your sheets. I think the last time I changed my sheets was about two weeks ago. I feel like I'm gonna get judged for this. Like, how often do people change their sheets, like their bed sheets? Now that is a question. Like, I'm sure that there are people out there who change them every week. I'm sure there's people out there who change them every month. What are you? If you've ever got with someone whose name starts with an A, drink. God, and what an idiot he was, honestly. If you prefer being on top, drink. Now, I'm not drinking to that, I, yeah. This one says smallest boobs, drink. I mean, even if there was about 20 people in this room with me, I would still be drinking to this one, so cheers, everyone. Okay, say it or shot it, your weirdest turn on. What is my weirdest turn on? That's a really good one. I mean, obvious turn ons for me, I'd say, which aren't weird. I like a bit of height. I am five foot ten, so I, I like a tall dude. Six foot one minimum for me, because I know a six foot one male is perfect for me if I've got a heel on. We like that. Um, so that's a turn on. Intelligence is key. I feel like that's what I'm most attracted to, hands down, is just someone who is intelligent and can, you know, hold a, a meaningful conversation and is not afraid to kind of explore random topics and just absolutely dive into cool conversations. You know, some, someone who's got a bit about them. None of that is weird. So what do I find weird? Everyone who I've ever dated looks so, so different and they're also quite unique individuals, like, I haven't got a type, I like a lot older, so maybe that would be my weirdest turn on, is just someone who is older. I can't see myself being with a guy who's, you know, in his, say, more my age. It could happen, but since I was literally 19 years old, I've always dated older, and I think there's a lot of reasons for that. I think I'm quite mature, and I always get on well with 
mature individuals as well. I think you I don't know, I just, I can't be dealing with time wasters and just drama and all this. I just like something that's constant and someone that is nice. But I also like, going back to the intelligence thing, I think the kind of intelligence I like is often with experience. So that is probably why I do go older. But I probably say that's the weirdest turn on. If you can't stand PDA drink, do you know what? I'm gonna take a little sip. Public displays of affection. Now, I don't mind it, like a little kiss, you know, smoochy smoochy, like just couples being, you know, in love and that's all sweet. It's when they're making noises when they're kissing, it's when they're like grabbing each other and you're just sat there or they're just there and they're like eating each other's face. I'm like, why? <laughs> But then at the same time, I know I definitely have been that person, so I can't really talk. Okay, this is funny. If all your exes look the same drink, like I just said, they all look so, so different, so she cannot drink to that one. If you're wearing more than six pieces of jewellery, drink. One, two, three, four, five. Five. I like how I went to drink then, that's not the game. If you've broken your own heart by snooping, drink. Now I definitely have done once before, a few years back. I was definitely doing some detective work and saw something or found something out that actually was kind of mind blowing, changed my life. Well, not, well, it's a bit dramatic. It sort of at the time did change things, change my life, change things. But yeah, I've definitely been an FBI and caused myself some upset, so. Okay guys, I'm actually gonna leave this video here. There are so many more cards to go through. I haven't even made a dent in all of those cards. Is that even a word? What am I trying to say? Maybe I'm tipsy. There's still so many more cards to go through and I am 100% filming this with Chanel, the first opportunity I get. I'm gonna get all my gals on this channel, we're gonna film this together, but I am loving it. Those questions are great, um, it's so fun, I love it. Like I said, I'm a massive fan of the girls and the podcast, so it's just great, it's amazing. I 10, 10 recommend, I, I just, I might actually carry on doing this by myself and not film because I'm having a great time. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. and some Saturdays at 10 a.m. So join the family, comment down below, turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss a thing. I hope you all have a super amazing day and you're keeping amused and staying safe and I'll catch you guys soon with a brand new video. Mwah. Bye everyone! Thank you.